Hi gamers, and welcome to another Magic Booster Box opening. Like I mentioned in my previous Booster Box opening of the Mystery Booster, I'm back at Magic and all is well again. <laughs> uh, and like the Mystery Booster, this uh, box of Ikoria, a layer of behemoths, was given to me by Poromagia, a great uh, uh, Magic the Gathering store here in Finland. They have a physical store in Helsinki, but they also ship uh, all over the EU, so no matter where you are, uh, please do me a favor and uh, check out their store. Uh, the links are in the video description below. And it's not just Magic the Gathering single cards and uh, sealed product, but they also sell um, board games, uh, miniatures, and uh, they also have a retro magia branch uh, with, where they sell retro games so please check them out the links are in the video description and thank you very much for Poro Magia for giving me the chance to open one of these and I'm not just saying that they really are my go-to place in, in magic and uh, retro games here in Finland some really great inventory there and some decent prices as well so check them out but now let's get into Ikoria we got a number of uh, chase uh, things inside here, not just your re regular foils, but we can also pull three borderless planeswalkers, and uh, there are also showcase cards with a uh, different different look. Hopefully, we'll pull some out here, and uh, I can show you. And uh, yeah, it's it's also nice that we actually have a set where uh, in the rare slot, not just the mythics. Uh, but in the rare slot we have uh, uh, a total of five uh, really great lands, the Triome lands, uh, three colored lands. So hoping to pull uh, several of those. So it, it's it's really nice to be opening a box where, you know, each rare uh, can actually be something, something uh, desirable and valuable, not just the mythics. Uh, and also we have uh, a box topper here, which can be one of 15 different promo cards. And when you buy a box, you also got uh, the buy a box promo. And uh, as you can see here, uh, well, first up, uh, I, I think most of you have already heard, heard about the Godzilla cards. Not a big fan. I don't think they fit into Magic the Gathering at all. But hey, they're here. And uh, luckily, they're just uh, alternate cards for, uh, uh, for uh, cards that are in, in the main set. Uh, with a just with a, with a different name, so it's not like they're unique cards. But as you can see here, the buy a box promo that I got here is in French, which is a less than ideal. Somebody made a mistake, and uh, I think all of Northern Europe or something like that received French uh, buy a box promos, and in France they got English buy a box pro promos. So uh, yeah, somebody goofed up, but uh, hey, can't complain too much. It's uh, it's a free card. And another furry card that we have inside here is the box topper. Now let's open this. And uh, the box topper uh, can be one of 15 different Godzilla themed uh, cards. And uh, let's see which one we get. So it's just, just this uh, single booster. And uh, inside we have one card. So we got King Caesar, Ancient Guardian. So not one of the better ones, but uh, hey, again, still some, some great value uh, for your compared to uh, just a regular box of uh, 36 boosters. So good stuff. So here we go. Have, uh, anything too exciting here in the commons? Monstrous Step, Dusk Fang Mentor, and Horn Bash Mentor as the uncommons, and uh, we have Colossification as the rare. I like the huge kitty here, and uh, we also got a, a foil uncommon migration path. And uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, 
instead of uh, plus one, plus one, and minus one, minus one counters, you also get uh, these uh, flying trample, death touch, and uh, vigilance counters. Oh, here we have menace, hexproof, life link, reach, first strike, every, everything here uh, that you can punch out of these uh, cards and uh, use these as uh, as uh, physical counters, which uh, is something that's probably required. It's it's uh, would be way too hard to keep track of uh, what's what. Oh, nice! We got our first Planeswalker, our first Mythic, and it's borderless. So that's really cool. I, I really like the uh, like the look of uh, of these uh, borderless cards. That so that's a great pull right out of the gate. Luca, Copper Coat Outcast. Excellent. Then as the rare Quartzwood Crasher, and in the uh, land slot we got a double, uh, a dual land comes into play tapped. How do I do this? Maybe I'll just mix the uncommons with the commons, foils, rares. Yeah, that works. Oh, nice! In the uncommon slot, we got a showcase card. So these, they look like this. And uh, yeah, again, just really nice to be able to open boosters, and uh, even in the uncommon slot, you can you can have something really cool like this, a porky parrot, and a sea dasher octopus. Also in the rare slot, uh, pretty much all of the companion cards are, are uh, yeah, somewhat valuable and uh, desirable. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know this. Uh, actually in the common slots are also the uh, showcase cards. Do I have to <laughs> look through all, all of my uh, previous comments as well? So we got migrator, uh, Migratory Great Horn. Oh, and the second one in the same pack, uh, Trumpeting Gnar, an uncommon. Oh, and one of the better mythics in the set, Fiend Artisan. So that's that's really cool. We're getting some good, good pulls here. So uh, several showcase cards and uh, two mythics already. And one of this uh, is a borderless planeswalker. So looks like we're into a great box here but okay I'll just go through that I didn't miss any showcase cards here <laughs> I think so yep we're good Crystals are pretty okay as well. They got crystal and uh, Mythos of Iluna as a rare. Some more counters. First shark, voracious great shark, and a foil rare, a lava brink venturer. It's great. Running out of space already. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just, just an advert. And then we have a Mythos of uh, Nethroi as the rare. So no Triumph Lands yet, but uh, we've had such a great luck with the Mythics, can't complain. Another showcase card, Regal Leosaur. And one of the better rares of the set, the Ozolith. Good stuff. Yeah, this is uh, this guy is gonna wreak havoc with those uh, counters. What well, guy? Just an artifact. <laughs> and then we had the King Kong. Kogla the Titan Ape, as the rare. We also have a foil, Essence Scatter. Uh, Yorian Sky Nomad. Whirlwind uh, of Thought and a Wilt uh, Common Foil. Another showcase, Majestic Oricorn, uncommon, and a Cub Warden as the rare. Offspring's Revenge, and we also have a foil, Windscarred Crag. And uh, here's a, a reminder or stand-in card for the companion. If you meet the, uh, let's see here, if you meet the uh, uh, qualifications for the companion card, uh, you can start with it uh, outside of the game. Basically, it's in your hand, and you can cast it once from there. Yeah, all of those seem pretty. Um, pretty powerful, you know. It's it's not that difficult to uh, 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 work your uh, deck around, especially in in, in limited, but uh, also in in uh, constructed. Uh, showcase Walpik Heat, common, and Extinction Event as the rare. And an uncommon showcase, Pouncing Shore Shark. And oh, this this looks like <laughs> this looks like a good pack if you can see. <laughs> I don't know what's even coming here. So a uh, Pouncing Shore Shark, and uh, then we have a Borderless uh, Dirge Bat as the rare, and a Foil Borderless Cub Warden. So this this was <laughs> this was a pack. Really, really cool stuff. Excellent. <laughs> Again, no, uh, no Triome lands, but uh, hey, with posts like this, it's okay by me.
uncommon showcase parcel beast and a rare hunted nightmare and the foil planes. Cloud Piercer showcase. And uh, here we got our first companion, Zirda, the Dawn Waker. And these are really, really good, all of these. Get these out of the box. Slither Wisp, the rare. And Obosh, the Prey Piercer, another companion. Shark Typhoon and a foil a reconnaissance mission. I think we've kind of fallen behind on our mythic uh, chase here. So there should be a couple of more at least here in this box. Oh, and there we go. Another mythic Kinnan Bunder Prodigy. Uh, Prodigy, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Prodigy, uh, and uh, we also have a foil uh, tentative uh, tentative connection. Really hard talking these days. So that was the uh, third mythic of the box. Next companion, Umori, the collector. And uh, also a foil, a rare Mythos of Iluna, our second one. Our uh, next showcase, Cavern Whisperer. Mythos of Snapdex. We are in the uh, collector's booster of Icoria Elf Behemoths. You get even more stuff to chase down. So, uh, really, uh, a different, uh, all, all kinds of uh, different card styles in this set. An uncommon uh, showcase Glowstone Recluse. And yes, our first Triome. Raw Green Triome. Excellent. Yeah, these are really, really useful. Uh, first time ever that uh, you've had the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, land types uh, in the uh, in a three-colored land. This isn't the first three-colored land, but this is the first that you can fetch with uh, fetch lands. So that's that's really important for that, and it's cycle cyclable as well. So, uh, yeah, really, really excellent lands, all uh, five of these. And, uh, yeah, really helps people with uh, their three colored decks. Crystalline Giant.
and an uncommon showcase, auspicious Storix, and eerie ultimatum. This is actually great. I was uh, I was looking for this for my uh, white, black, and green deck, and uh, yeah, great to have this pulled here. I think this is uh, one of uh, one of the best ultimatums in the game. Really, really powerful effect, and a foil blood curdle. Lorus of the Dream Den. I think uh, I think this is the best companion, basically, at least the most valuable companion in the set. And yeah, these are great. And a second ultimatum, inspired ultimatum. We also got a foil swamp. Let's see what we got. We got seven to go. So at least one more mythic. But uh, yeah, we got there with the one triome. I would have made really bummed out if if I didn't get any. And uh, yeah, got all sorts of good stuff. Uh, Bonders enclave. The rare and uh, yeah, got a borderless planeswalker right out, out of the gate, and uh, yeah, seems like a good box if we hit the uh, uh, fourth mythic Skycat Sovereign. Oh, Snapdax, Apex of the Hunt. So we got there. Our fourth mythic. Excellent. And still uh, four boosters to go. And another Mythos of Iluna. I think that's the third one that I pulled. One of four. Uh, showcase uh, common dream tale heron. And a haunted nightmare. That's the rare. Gem Razor, that's the rare, and we also got an Archipelago as a foil. So, one more pack to go. Let's see what we got. Another Loris of the Dream Den, excellent. Like I said, this is one of the one of the best rares and uh, best companions in the set. So that's it. Let's see what we got here. Um, first up, let's see the. Uh, well, let's just put the foils out of the way here. Not that interested in those. Although we did get, uh, I think, two foil rares, so that's good. And uh, we got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, common or uncommon showcases. And uh, let's see, let's get our mythics out.
Yeah, might as well put that there as well. So we got these mythics, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and the uh, Borderless uh, Luca, Copper Coat, Outcast, Fiend Artisan, Snapdax, and uh, Kinnon. And uh, also from, from the rares, we got one foil and one regular Borderless. Uh, rare, Dirge Bat, and Cub Warden. And also from uh, from the uh, better rares, we got one Lurus, two Lurus, uh, and we had uh, the Ozolith, and uh, of course the uh, one of the Triumphs. And uh, yeah, this is in addition to several other companions. Yeah, so uh, yeah. This was a really, really good box. I uh, got some some good pulls here, and uh, uh, some some things for my for my decks. Some things that I'm gonna be uh, selling or trading forward. And uh, again, thanks uh, very much to uh, Boro Magia for sponsoring this video by giving me a box of Ikoria. Thank you very much. And again, if you want to help them out or my channel out, or just want to get some good deals on magic cards, check out the uh, links in the video description below. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.